That's right. We're doing part two of the Jaws Against Cars course. Crash course. Hi guys, I'm Isa. Today we're going to learn, you know, the Jaws Against Crash Course Part Two. It's been quite a while since part one, so uh, let's just get right into it. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna just create a create a form or something. Form, yeah. And the slash form. I really like slash form. So, so, okay, so basically, the form is that. And the form, you open the input, the type of text. The ID will be the name. Okay, ah. Uh. Okay, well, let's just get rid of that. Great, cool. So now, I'm just gonna also add a. Okay, I'm not gonna add the label. Let's use completely placeholders. Placeholder. Name. Uh, okay. Why is our tab not work? Alright, so now we have this name thing. Paste, paste. Pet. And this one's gonna be a type. Oh, uh. Email, because this placeholder is obviously email. So, uh, the ID will also be email. Email type will be password ID password. Usually it was the boys hole came in. But they have to pay with placeholder. Eh, sure, whatever, who cares? Wait, now you can enter your names or emails and a password. But like what's the point of entering them? Not gonna be able to do it, so it So that's where JavaScript comes in. Oh yeah, and that's where the button comes in comes in as well. The button ID But an idea, a BTN. I'm gonna say slash button. Uh, oh, great. So now we have this, this cool button. And the, they're gonna say, uh, like, submit or something. Name, email, password, submit. Now you can use that to your name, your email, your password, or enter your submit. Okay, okay. Wait, it reloads the page. I'm gonna change this to a div. I like the fact that it reloads the page. Right now, it doesn't reload the page. That's better. And I'm also, no, I'm also gonna make a h1 saying uh, dash. Because, because why not? Right, so now let's get straight into the JavaScript. Because, well, I mean, that's the most important part, right? Okay, let name they go to documents dot get element by id Na name. Uh, okay, since so I don't want to have to write all of that again because, well, the text is written that long ago. Please just go to copy and paste email and password. Email password. I'll just uh yeah it's okay so that's kind of oh yeah we also need a button but btn is equal to document dot element by oh wait that didn't work element by id btn okay so on the on the press of the button oh yeah we also need the h1 as well paste the uh, h1 be document on how much by ID. Oh, it doesn't have an ID. Which one? Okay, so now its ID is each one, so I know it has its own ID. That's kind of cool. BTN dot add event listener. So it's gonna listen for any events. Click. Oops, so it says I want to do this. Click. Use arrow functions instead of those normal board functions. Okay, so now when the when the BTN squirts the H1, then it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be H1. H1 dot inner text is equal to let me say like name dot value. Let's just try that. Okay, so I have to get to the U. Oh great, now there's a problem. BTN dot add different listener. 
does not have function. Okay. So, uh, I guess I'm just gonna. Okay, so, uh. Yeah. Oh, he's on that check the exit. So, we need to win those. I don't want to listen more quick. So, uh, I'm just gonna this quick. So, yeah, we're just gonna get back to here later. Right now, we have to. Right now we have some CSS. Change and course mode local. Okay, so uh Okay, so basically I'm gonna add a style tag. So oh well, yeah, I'll do the code of style tag as well. So I'm gonna say div. So with this div this could be a Wait a minute, background, linear, radiant, let's say like, red, comma, white, red, oh yeah, white, red doesn't exist, just gonna use RGB, let's see, red, so I'm gonna say like, 200, 200, 200, okay, not 200, 255, and now it has a, a background, I guess, let's say, with fit content, and uh, a semicolon and padding 20px and border radius 20px okay so uh let's have an outline as well border 10.5px wait 3px solid black Okay, that's a bit too small. I should have used 5px. Okay, so uh, now let's start the inputs. The inputs padding 20px, margin 20px. Oh, whoopsie, that's a bit too much. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna say border radius 100v max. I'll say border, border, color gray. I'm actually gonna try a light gray. I'm just gonna say border, 2px solid gray. All right, so now I have cool borders, and uh. Who doesn't like borders? Right now it's time to start a button. Say button. 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 Has a. Oh, the submit button. It's gonna have padding 10px. Okay, it's gonna text align center. Well, that doesn't work. It's gonna put text align center here. Right now, everything's in the center. I don't want to say border. 2px solid black. And the color be white. And the border radius will be 100 V max. And the, oh yeah, the background will be white, not the color. Right. So now I'm just gonna change everything's font as a final touch. So everything's gonna have font family oh no space. So right now there's a it looks kinda of better. Alright, so Okay, so now we have to get into the JavaScript. So with this button, I'm gonna say on click equals btng. So I'm gonna change this to what btng. So I have to btng will be the function. So uh, I'm just gonna remove these. Alright, so 
So now, if I write name and submit it, says it. Okay, so I'm going to say name dot value. So uh, give me a second. Wait, now I'm just gonna put this. I'm gonna say name. Name dot value. I'm gonna say backslash add. So create a new line. Email. And the uh, email will be email emails value so we're gonna say email dot value so uh now if I write email so it shows the email and I'm gonna make a new one write password I'm gonna say password dot value so now if I write uh just a uh, password. So now it shows the name, the email, and the password. So, anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, give like and subscribe. So, bye.